Hello, everybody. Come on in. All right, so you guys have been requesting a home tour for couple of years now at least and I always feel weird about it but we're about to move out of this place we might have actually already moved out of this place by the time this video posts so I decided you know what the house is clean we've pretty much emptied it out let's give you a really quick house tour so come on in with me all right so this is my entryway not much to see except for my mom tote my diaper bag and my rent the runway that I have to send back because I'm still pregnant right now while we're shooting this video, though I might have had the baby by the time you guys are watching this. Either way, nothing fits me anymore, so ta-da, rent the runway. And they're not paying me to say this, but let's go see the rest of the house. This is actually the mixed makeup studio, aka our guest room or third bedroom. It's our largest bedroom, actually no, our, our master bedroom is the largest bedroom, this is the second largest bedroom. We have a Murphy bed installed here. It's actually a great one. It's a really good Murphy bed. Ah, I actually have slept here before and it's really comfy. We have like a Casper mattress that never gets used and it basically just folds up into the wall. And then, um, you know, we usually have all of our beauty products in these little nooks right here. We've cleaned it all out and we've given it all away actually to all of you guys. So all of our beauty products were there. We're gonna have a whole new area where we keep beauty products. So when we're shooting mixed makeup videos, we actually just pull these backgrounds down and turn this bedroom into my studio. And we actually set up a lot of lights. I know you guys are always curious like how we're shooting it or where we're shooting it. It's literally downstairs in my home in a bedroom and we're just using these backdrops, but we're using a lot of lights, really nice cameras. When we're not shooting videos, then we have a huge dining table actually here where me and the team sit. The table is obviously not here right now, but that's how we do it. We don't each have our own desk. We sit with each other. And you guys have probably seen that in some of the mom life kind of videos where we're just kind of like casually sitting and stuff. So now we've actually cleaned it all out. And all we have really is our computer that works really, really hard with all of these hard drives. They have a lot of backup footage, not just for mixed makeup stuff, but for all of our production clients, we have a lot of their footage on this computer and on these drives. There's a bathroom in here, so we never actually have to go upstairs. And actually my videos with uh, my skincare routines happen in here a lot of the time. So if you take a look, it's just, it's a small guest bathroom. There's just a little shower, and then there is an itty bitty sink. I had actually spoken to the architect of this house and he said that this was meant to be a true sized sink but the developer apparently cheaped out at the very end and decided to go with one of these small ones. But it still works. You know, we keep a lot of our products, or we used to keep a lot of our products in here too. And just to show you guys, we keep a lot of equipment in here. This closet has taken a really huge beating. But let's go outside. This uh, outdoor area was meant to be for the mixed makeup team. We only truly use it to take calls basically like when someone needs to get on a work call or even a personal call we then step outside and sit out here that's truly the only time we ever use it i think so i got this entire sitting area for the mixed makeup team and my husband was actually just remarking how we've never sat out here he's literally never sat out here on this little part of our patio because he just doesn't really see a reason why to why why he would sit out here because we have an upstairs patio that I'll show you in a little bit. All right, so this is the living room and the kitchen behind me. There's also like our laundry room and a bathroom over to my left. You guys have actually seen this area a lot because we shoot a lot of our videos up here. We like sometimes do our outros for the SAS sitting on this couch. We've shot so many episodes of FAM, all of my personal YouTube channel videos. I mean, I'm just always sitting on this couch right here. I mean, I guess it's only appropriate for me to sit here, right? Whew, a little hard to sit and to breathe. I mean, this was the selling point of the house for me, was how bright and just like open and airy this whole area was. When we were first looking for a house, we were looking for something that was gonna be more of a traditional house. But when I saw this and walked up here, I was kind of like, this feels like I'm in a tree house almost. If you look out like the windows and stuff, there's palm trees, you can see hills. All of our neighbors have like 
beautifully manicured lawns and like, you know, have beautiful trees and flowers and lots of different stuff. So, you know, at different times of the year, you see lots of different flowers growing outside of, outside of our windows. Um, and it's really, really pretty. And I don't know, it was all about that natural light. And actually I was like a little bit nervous about getting rid of this place because it truly makes me so happy to just sit in this natural light. You know, it's always so beautiful and so bright. Even on rainy days, it's just beautiful to look out the windows and see like the rain falling and go even upstairs, which I'll show you in a second where our bedrooms are, um, and look out and see, you know, just like the clouds and the sunsets and the sunrise. And there's so many beautiful things about this. It was all about the windows and the natural light. I get a lot of questions about a lot of like the furniture we have and stuff. I got these and they're really faded now, but they were actually, you can see the color more. This was like more of a blush pink. This was more of a gray. Um, I got these from a, a woman on Instagram actually called uh, Flea Market Fab. She used to do, I don't know if she still does. Um, she used to have like an Instagram account called Shop Flea Market Fab, um, where she would do like these like quick sales where she would like throw up rugs and things like this. And so I bought a bunch of pillows. I actually bought lots of pillows for our outdoor area, but they got messed up because I left them out in the rain one day. Kind of was a bummer. But these have lasted for a really long time. This was also from Shop Flea Market Fab. This sofa is one of the most expensive sofas I've ever purchased in my life. It's from Linnea Rose. Um, we went through actually like four different sofas in this home because we just had so many problems. But we started with one white sofa and it was such a big mistake. And then by the time we got to this one, we were like, you know what, now we have a toddler and we see what happens to white sofas when you have a toddler, but I still wanted to stay within the theme of everything. You know, some people say in videos, it looks dirty. Um, and in some places it probably is dirty, but what we did is we got this pattern that has like gray and taupe within the white. So it looks like, a, you know, if, if you actually see it up close, it's actually white with like taupe and gray going through it. But this sofa has really taken the beating, having a dog and a toddler and a husband who just sits on the couch all the time <laughs> watching sports and stuff. This sofa is taking a beating. And my, my dog Mason loves the ottoman. It's his bed essentially. He's got a bed and it's right there in the corner, but he loves the ottoman. Like it, when we look at him through our video camera that's capturing like the living room area, he's almost always right there. This coffee table is a really pretty coffee table. It spent the last two years with um, essentially baby bumpers all around it. So it's, it's never really looked the way it's supposed to look. Um, but we got this from RH Modern, which is a part of, uh, it's like an extension of Restoration Hardware. It does not come with the dinosaur book, in case you guys want this. Nikosh is obsessed with dinosaurs these days. He loves, like, all the sounds that they make and stuff like that. Um, but this table is a beautiful table. I was obsessed with marble for a good while there. I don't know if I'm as obsessed with marble anymore, but... I was. We also got this from RH Modern. Um, it's a Milo Bowman chair. Again, one of the most expensive pieces of furniture I've ever purchased. This next place that we move into will probably just get all Ikea stuff because now we've learned that when you have a kid, you really shouldn't spend any money on your furniture. When we you know, got this place, we did not have a child yet. And we were thinking like, you know, just adults with no kids. And uh, it backfired because all of our stuff has taken a really major beating. Um, and then if you look at this rug, we got this rug from one of my best friends. Her and her husband have a website called Village Uncommon. And they basically import vintage Turkish rugs that are like handmade. They're really beautiful. They'll help you find like the perfect rug that you're looking for. They sell other goods from Turkey as well. Um, she's from Maine, um, but he is actually from Turkey. And so, you know, it's like this perfect pairing um, of you know, this couple finding beautiful Turkish items that are handmade just for you guys. Um, so a little plug for my girlfriend, but I love this rug. We get so many questions about it. And you know, it's kind of hard to say like what my interior design aesthetic is. I think it's kind of a mix because I like really like natural looking. I like the natural looking woods, the walnuts, the oak. I like whites and grays and those kinds of colors with those little touches of like the pink and stuff and obviously marble. But my husband really loves like mid-century design and I actually really like mid-century design too. And 
if you actually look around our house, a lot of our little items are all from the flea market. I used to spend so much time at the flea market before I had a child. Actually, even after I had my first kid, I was still going to the flea market a lot. And then I started realizing I was getting like, I was buying way too many like knickknacks and you can't really have knickknacks around the house anymore when you've got a kid. Um, but you know, you'll see there's like a mid-century vibe to everything. Um, and then kind of old and then new. It's hard to really say, I really just mix it up, but I really like it to be airy and bright and natural looking. So this is the kitchen. It is literally just part of the living room. So it's, you know, a very modern, open concept kind of place. Um, we don't have a lot of space in here, which is one of the reasons why we decided it was time to move. We've got the second child coming. And honestly, I think she would be fine for another couple of years, but it's because Mikash is two and a half he needs more space, he needs to run around, he's climbing everything. And this kitchen is actually, you know, it's like a good size. And if I was, you know, in my mid 20s, I would still love this place. Like this is my like dream home in my like 20s if I would, if I could have afforded it back then. I love a white countertop and I love this like wood kind of countertop over here that acted also as like a bar kind of area, like a breakfast nook, breakfast bar, I guess that's what it would be called. And then we had these beautiful um, stools actually custom made for this area because it kind of went for like really natural looking colors. I like a little pop of like a baby pink, but I like the natural colors and the natural woods and the natural fibers and stuff. And you know, I'm really proud of this in the kitchen. This is our pantry. Ta-da! It's pretty organized right now. It's never really this organized. My husband and I are really proud of this because we, you know, this was just a blank pantry. Like there were no shelves in here or anything like that when we first moved in. So we got all of this shelving done. Um, we put these cabinets in here. We put our own microwave. We put a wine refrigerator in here just because my husband was like, it'll fit perfectly. And he measured every, he like measured it all out and everything. Um, I went ahead and put the toaster oven in here. We've got our recycle bin our trash can and then just like ways to organize this stuff. We even have these. Normally we would have, um, you know, like Nikosh's little lunch pail <laughs> kind of hangs here. We've got aprons that usually hang here. So it's like, you know, I'm really proud of this pantry. It's a, it's a really nice pantry. I've been very happy with it. Something that I'm really proud of is that we actually were very adult and we changed out all of the main light fixtures in this home. Um, we have a lot of like recessed lighting and stuff too, but you know, it's just one of those things. It's like when you move into an apartment or a home, or especially when you're like in college and in your 20s and stuff, it's like you just deal with like the light system that comes with the place, or you buy like really cheap lamps and put them all over the place and stuff. So it was very adult of us to change out the light fixtures. Here in the kitchen, we put these two um, light fixtures. They're from Tom Dixon. And then the rest of our light fixtures we got from a place here in Los Angeles. You can actually order it from um, you know, their online store too. I'll leave links to everything below so that you guys, at least to the stores where we got stuff so you guys can take a look and everything. We even did custom stuff. Like they're getting worn out, but we had all these leather tabs, these leather pulls installed so that we could, you know, just give it that, that natural look again. I wanted that natural, the natural fibers, leather. So this is Nikosh's room. You guys have been in here when I gave you like a nursery tour a while back. Um, at this time of day, which is evening, it gets a little dark in here because of the way the light, the sun has kind of like shifted. So this is the darkest room, I'd say, um, of our entire house. I would turn the lights on, but then it would turn really orangey because that's the kind of bulb I got for his lights. So these are custom fixtures again. We've made a lot of changes to this room because it started with a crib here, um, which we then turned into a full-size bed. You know, his changing table was over this way. We went for kind of like a mid-century vibe for him in here too. He obviously loves his toy box. So I decided to like open this area up. I used to have a recliner right here. So that was the recliner that I used when uh, when he was a baby baby. But and you'll see, I actually moved it for the new baby. But this is a great. <laughs> Are you playing guitar? Singing? Anyway, he's he's gonna continue making messes because he likes to perform for the camera. So we obviously went with like a mid-century kind of vibe, gold tones, a lot of gray in here. I kind of wanted it to be, you know, like not so typical boy, like the baby blue stuff. So I liked the gray. The dresser and the bed slash crib, it's a convertible crib, were both from Fisher Price, but they were the Jonathan Adler 
like collaboration. I don't think you can get these things anymore, but I love them. We're gonna transfer them to our new place. You know, we had like an elephant thing going, which it turns out elephants are all right, but he didn't love elephants. He's obsessed with dinosaurs and cars. So those are the two things that I probably would have done a little bit differently had I known what my child's personality was gonna be like, but you can never know. I also love this room because he's got his own bathroom. You know, when we were changing him and stuff, you wanna like wash your hands afterwards, we give him his baths, he loves bath time, it's a great bathtub for him. We've got all our traditions in here, it's actually making me really kinda of sad to think that we're gonna leave. So we have this huge California King bed. It's one of the best purchases ever. I actually got this bed off of um, One King's Lane and they came and they set it up for us and everything. It's this white like linen bed and I love it. Um, our linen comforter is from a place called InBed and it is the best quality comforter if you want a linen one ever. So this is much softer, better quality. This huge painting I got at the flea market, Rose Bowl Flea Market. I'm telling you guys, I used to have so much stuff. This room, again, the light, was one of the selling points of this house for us. My husband and I, when we first moved in here, we would sometimes like wake up early in the morning and we'd see the sun rising to the left of us and my husband would be like, you have to wake up for this sunrise, it's beautiful, because we'd see just like the beautiful pink and orangey looking colors of the sky of Los Angeles and stuff. It's just things that you don't really realize you can get in a place like LA. Before we decided to move out, we actually just decided last minute to put our place up for sale and look for a bigger place. And when I say bigger place, like we just need a space where I feel like our kids can run around a lot easier and it's not as easy with the, with the multiple levels. Um, Nikosh has gotten really good with the stairs, but man, we spent like a good year being <laughs> worried about him on the stairs all the time. And he needs a big yard. And so those are the things that are making us move out of this place. Otherwise, I'd be perfectly content staying here because I love all the natural light and all the windows that we have and stuff. So if you look at this dresser, it was never this clear. I actually said in my assumptions video that I had beauty products all over the place. And I truly did, like this top, the top of this thing was covered. It looked like I was a beauty product hoarder, but just literally on top of this dresser. And it was because as Nikosh kind of like got older and older, he would play with more and more of my beauty products. Like if I had them in drawers and stuff, he'd start playing with them so that everything would inevitably, <laughs> inevitably end up on top of this dresser. And then it just got to the point where it was out of control. It looked ridiculous. I never really figured out what I wanted to have on this wall and it just pretty much stayed that way the whole time. I thought about putting a huge mirror or something, but we've got this huge mirror in our hallway, and I just felt like it'd be overkill of mirrors, so I just never put anything. I was maybe thinking a picture wall, never did it. But if you see this blank area here, so I moved our recliner from the nursery, which is now Nikasha's just room, here because before we decided to move, I was thinking I would put the bassinet here, just in this little spot, um, I was going to put like the changing table right there and then this would be like my little breastfeeding area. So we we're just going to have this little makeshift area and not create a whole entire nursery since our third bedroom is taken up by mixed makeup. But again, we've now decided that maybe we should get out of here before the baby comes or while the baby is still pretty tiny and we don't need that much space yet so that we can go ahead and get her her own room too, hopefully. You look out these windows, you guys. Like looking out here, I wish you guys could see this because it's so pretty, but like even this tree in the spring, it completely blooms with white flowers. So this tree eventually is just completely white for like just like two weeks. And if you look over here, you could actually see the Hollywood sign. And if you go upstairs, like we have a, you're not really supposed to be upstairs, but you can see like the Hollywood sign and stuff. It's just, this is such a pretty, the windows are just so pretty in here. If you follow me on Instagram, a lot of my pictures have literally taken place right here. Like literally, this is the spot where we take a lot of my Instagram photos, like right here at the edge of the bed, or like right here up against the window. Like I'll actually throw in some of these photos. It's like me sitting like this. And it's because we're using all this natural light, you know, it's so pretty to work with and easy to work with. So I want to show you guys something because I'm really proud of this because I knew we would be moving out and stuff. I went through all of my beauty products and I organized my makeup. My skincare, not as organized. Makeup, definitely organized. And check this out. I'll actually leave links to these, these drawer organizers because they're awesome. Ta-da! Check this out. 
These are like foundations, tinted moisturizers, travel products, lots of brushes, all of the lip colors I'm using, any kind of pencils. These are like odds and ends, like um, setting powders, blushes, bronzers. Here's the bag of my makeup that I'm like really truly using. And then these are all like palettes and stuff. Pretty good, right? This is our closet. It's a little bit emptier. Not as organized as I had it, just because I started going through a lot of stuff and trying to like toss things and everything. So this is my side of the closet. These are all of my shoes. Actually, not all of my shoes, because some of them are packed up. So I actually realized I have a ton of shoes, but I tried to keep it really organized in here. And I have some of my purses in here. Again, cleaned out a lot of my like, my like most precious purses, just because we're having people walk through this house and stuff. People that potentially want to buy it. More clothing, more purses, these custom leather ties. All of this, you guys, we built out with just Ikea stuff. So this is just like an Ikea custom closet. We didn't have like, you know, California closets come in and do like some makeover. I wasn't a big enough influencer probably when we moved in to have anybody offering to organize our stuff for us. Um, this is my husband's side. He has less stuff than me, I guess you could say. And it's more straightforward. Like he's just got suit bags some belts. He's very boring. It's very boring. Very manly. Most of his shoes are actually downstairs because we make everybody take their shoes off at the entrance. So he takes up a good portion of our like entrance area with his shoes because he just refuses to bring them back upstairs unless they're his like work shoes. But this is how he wanted his shoes to be. So I wanted mine to be flat shelving. He wanted his to have a slant to his shelving and then he wanted more drawers because I take up all the dressers out there. So that was his thing, but I'm, I'm really proud of this. This is, you know, I keep like underwear, socks, like that kind of stuff. I think he keeps a lot of the same things in there. And it was really easy to build it out. And then that's our master bathroom. And you guys have actually been in there a few times with me, so I'm not gonna explain it too much. I would like a larger bathroom, but this one has actually been a very nice size. You know, our vanity has like two sinks, so that's always money. And we had a nice size shower, so. I like it, hopefully it gets better from here. But one thing I will point out is, I hate these sinks. I wanted ceramic sinks and I wanted big ones, but you have to make sure you get sinks that are rounded so that everything goes down because these sinks, no matter how many times I, I clean them, because they're flat, stuff starts to just stay when you're rinsing, especially me. If you think about like all the beauty products I try and stuff, I'm trying like face masks and different like clay masks and stuff, and when I rinse my face, it's just sitting there. Like anytime I use a, a cleansing balm or a face oil and I take off my face after I've been, you know, like shooting videos for mixed makeup and I have a ton of makeup on, you'll see like my entire face just sitting in my sink. Like it's just my makeup and my lashes sitting in my sink. It never drains because it's just a flat sink. So that's a tip. Get a rounded bowl. And then this is our upstairs patio, so it's kind of like the last little place. We had this part built, so we like built our grill into it. We put like string lights out and at night they're really magical and pretty. It's just a nice little place to hang out and everything. And we can have dinner out here, we've had dinner out here several times. And it's nice to just look out, you know, we can see some of Los Angeles and stuff at night when the lights are on, city lights and everything. It's nice. I'm gonna miss this home. We were kind of sad because we were like, is Mikosh gonna remember like the first home he ever lived in with us? And I don't think so. So that makes me a little bit sad, but that's my home tour, you guys. I hope, you know, I'll get to show you my next home and hopefully it'll be an even better home. So cross your fingers for us. We're really trying to find something that we love and maybe we'll be our forever home. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.